Three ways to make searching for movies and TV series on Apple TV so much easier. Part one. There are so many movies on Apple TV as well as TV series to binge, but there are many apps you can watch them on and they all have huge libraries. Would you rather spend your time searching or watching? Follow me. Of the three ways to search on Apple TV, this is my first choice. It's a universal search, allowing you to efficiently search across multiple apps at once, rather than individually. You can also use your voice, so you don't have to type manually using the remote control. These features are for Apple TV 4 or newer. Apple TV 4 was released in late 2015, and you may have a remote control that looks like this or this. The universal search, which allows you to search through multiple apps at once, works with most apps that primarily have movie and TV show libraries. Examples of this are Apple TV Plus, the movie and TV show libraries from iTunes, as well as catch up TV services and the popular subscription apps like Netflix, Stan, Prime Video, and so on. An example of some apps that don't work with the universal search are YouTube or dedicated sports apps. But as far as searching for movies or TV shows, it's got you pretty well covered. The universal search is compatible with Siri, so you don't have to type manually. To use the Siri, you'll need to locate the button. On this remote control, it is here below the menu button and has the microphone symbol. This remote control, it is the small button at the side. To use it, press and hold, but don't say anything until you see the Siri symbol appear on the bottom right corner of your TV screen. When you see that, it's listening to you. And then simply say the name of the movie or the TV show that you're searching for. Once you've done that, that, you can release the button. When you're using the Siri, you don't need to say words like Hey Siri or search for and avoid saying um. If you make a mistake, you simply press the back button on this remote or the menu button on this one. It will clear your search and you can start again. So let's try an example. I'm going to search for a movie first. So I'm going to press and hold the Siri button down, Red Dog. The search happens in two steps. Firstly, it displays a list of movies that have a similar name to what you just searched for. Then just select the one that you're after. In this case, I'm going to choose the one at the top and why not? It's an excellent movie. The next screen will make a suggestion to where you can watch it, but I ignore this suggestion. Instead, move down to where it says how to watch. Here, it will display all apps the Universal Search found this particular movie. In this case, we can rent or buy it from Apple for a few dollars, or it's available on some of the subscription services. In this case, I'm a member of Stan, so I select Stan, the movie opens up ready to play. It's that easy. Let's try another example, but this time a TV series. So again, I will press the Siri button to make my request, Line of Duty. Some options will appear, I'll make my selection. The next screen will make a suggestion, but just like last time, we're going to ignore this to move down to where it says how to watch. This will display all apps this series is available on. If you are a member of any of these, of course, that's where you would go. If not, you always have the option to purchase through the Apple Store. But keep in mind, the price of TV series varies enormously, and sometimes it's cheaper to become a temporary member of a subscription service than it is to purchase. In this case, I'm a member of Stan, which appears on the list. I select select there and the program is ready to play. Again, it's so easy using this method. So there you have it, a quick and efficient way to search Apple TV using a universal search and your voice rather than having to type manually. There are, however, two other ways to search Apple TV which will definitely come in handy, so watch part two and three to find out how. For more easy to understand home technology tips, follow this account or go to techwithtony.com.au or follow my YouTube channel. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.